Good morning. It is uh, Thursday, April 26, 7.15 a.m. Just doing some spell adventure game, though. Adjust some of the lights here. All right. Turn my music up. Go back one hour. Okay. Ready to kick some butt? All right, let's do some pulls. Let's see what's going on. Local desk. And uh, what did I do last night? Oh yeah, I put the put the animation in there. Okay. Grab the new kit in a little bit. Grab the new kit in a little bit. Oh, oh, grab the new kit in a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. a little bit of time this project is so big Nicholas went through the other night and I guess really ramped up the efficiency of the entire project Whoa. really ramped up the efficiency so now it saves within a couple of seconds rather than well it saves within like a second and a half rather than four seconds yeah, sleepy Alright, so we have the animation in, we put the controller in the animation, we put in a trigger. Camo. Run it, baby, yeah. Did he move those? Yeah, he must have, he must have moved those. Alright, so, why is that doing that? I imagine because... It's only asking for one. Okay, as long as I think working as intended. Hmm, I see, I see. Okay, cool. So we have a solved delay. That's pretty sweet.
very cool. So, yeah, this one's off. I'm not exactly sure why. Get some uh, coffee. I'll be right back. Give me one shake of a leg. Okay, so we're tightening some stuff up here. Alright, so... Got a couple of is issues. You have an issue? Do you have an issue? Okay, let's see. Let's run through here real quick. Real quick, like... I see exactly why you did that too. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's check these.
Oh, I didn't think I put it that low. Did I put it that low? Okay. Working our way through. Working our way downtown. Walking fast. Casting light and it's all gone. Oh, he doesn't have a turn up? Oh. <gasps> perpetual. It's the perpetual puzzle. Give me that. Okay. Okay, yeah, so he took off the turning of the statues. Oh, pity. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Special here? No, not yet. Alright. Okay, I did not have a roof here. Nice. Nice work, bro. Okay, let's look. So let's check this. Let me check. It's gonna be in here. It's gonna be an intersection of area O2. It's gonna be here. I see, I see. Awesome. Okay. Fantastic job. Rearrange this broken like bridge over here. <laughs> So do I have the... Yep, it's there. Oh man, even I completely missed it. Okay, so do we need the medallion larger, he said? Alright, so we have a couple of changes, I believe, we, that we need to make. Let me 
me see here. There we go, wing one polish. Bridges. Good old bridge work, baby. Bridge, 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 I do believe. I do declare. Okay. And then the one thing is we can put like really pretty bridges too. So, you know, this is all, these are all just, uh, these are all just primitives with the slaves, like the pillars, the way that the pillars look, you know, we can, kind of really amplify the look of everything as we go without um, without adding more polygons. We don't want to do that at all. No, no more polygons. Okay. Um, all right, what else do we have? So that's done. I don't think that's a problem. Create light medallion screen for some fly light medallion putting your seat on parent that's all neck. That's all neck. Excellent option. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, so puzzle nine high medallion shouldn't be able to be hit until platform raises. That is my problem. So let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Okay, let me whoop. Exactly how high is this? Mm, okay, let's try this. What room is this? This is called the Temple Light Room High. Okay, so we have this. What we're trying, what we're going to do here, is we are going to add. Nope, I, don't, I do not want proportional editing. just about where we want it to.
just try that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, we're going to show and explore. Grab the game to Dungeons High. Copy and paste. Cross your fingers. It's about to get real. Not bad. Not bad at all. So then we take the light medallion. Boop, boop. Those are ugly. So you see these. Okay, these UVs are bad. Here we go. Um, we can probably do this. There we go. Mark that scene and then we'll mark. Should fix these. Oh, there we go. All right, pretty nice. Not bad. All right, so now let's see. Let's make sure this is what Nicholas needs. So we're gonna run through and make sure that works. That that end part works there. Oh, we're gonna have to add uh, collision boxes too. Super cool. Grab a gif of this, I'm gonna show Nick. Edit that.
good save. Okay, cool. Now, Take some Set out. Boop, boop, boop. Social media. Let's make sure this is what we need. Sixty. Very nice. Not too shabby. Again, it's a little bit ugly. A lot of stuff will fix and change. That was all that I can do. Fix medallion sizing. Love for it to match. Yeah, because I don't think he put a. I don't think he has a uh, what you call it a uh, delay in there. Let me see. this working. There we go. Alright, gonna download a social version. Grab it and drag it to social media. Okay. It's gonna go to outgoing media. Hmm. 
Seems like a half snag. <coughs> Taking forever. Go ahead and X that out. Alright, cool. And then, man, this is taking forever. I'm gonna run that through there. There we go. Awesome. How big is that? That is six, about six megs. It's not that bad. Okay. Um, Alright. Let's shoot that over to him. Line. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, so what we need now are kind of collider boxes. Let me see here. Back up. Bam. It's good. It's still streaming. Yep, still streaming. Okay. All right. So we have a collider. Board. Cool. I like it. Okay, let's get another, let's make another collider here. Too much, 25. Not bad. Okay, I'll take it back down to five. Bring it up. So we have a collider on the south wall, meaning that the um, if the player is not 
at this angle here, then they will not be able to actually reach the medallion. Um, normally, because if there's no collider box on this wall, if there's no colliders whatsoever, then the light spell will look directly past the wall itself. You leave him beans. I'll be right back. One second. Okay, back we are. Okay, uh, shit, I don't know how long I've been streaming. Lame. Let me see. Let me check something because it hiccuped out. Still this. Still that, okay. April, 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 April. Okay, we're gonna move a bunch of those over to there. Very cool. All right. What a great game. God, Mass Effect is fantastic. Okay, so, yeah, so we put the colliders on that. That's the south wall. Is that south wall? Oh man, what's northeast, south, and west? We're gonna have to get a map system. <laughs> So we have that. I think all these have, they do. Let me double check these doors because I don't think these doors down here have slabs or rather box colliders. Doesn't look like it. So let's go to the mesh. Okay, good. Put a box collider on that. Box collider on that. All right, cool. So now you cannot <laughs> move through that door. All right. <clears throat> Fan freaking tastic, man. Mm, 
it's pretty good. It's a pretty good job. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. What was I doing? I was putting. Okay, so that has uh, colliders on it now. It's good. Let me go ahead and save that. I did a great job. Uh, entrance. Okay. And then we were. We do not need that anymore. This room. It's one thing I love seeing. It's all those colliders. So then we'll, what we'll do is we'll replace all of these, like each of these individual tiles, see that have like checkered colliders on it, so it looks like a giant chessboard. It's way too many colliders, we do not need that many. We just need one primitive. Uh, one primitive for every room, except for the rooms that are gonna have like secret uh, floor problems, secret floor plank panels, things like that. So I replace those. What's that? Sweet, sweet medallion. Sweet key of light. Love it. And if you hit all of the area, you'll see all of the colliders there. The other side, let's check that out. That's crazy. It's really slowing it down. It's okay, though. It's pretty cool. Love it. God, this feels great. When I was a kid, I really wanted to do stuff like this, but I never knew. Never knew how to do any of it. Uh, also, when I was a kid, it was like the mid to late 90s, so this stuff was exceedingly difficult back then. Now, things like Unity and Unreal Engine, CryEngine, Blender, these things make it easy, relatively. But you can't forget that just because something's easy doesn't mean it's worth doing. For instance, well, not, not, not that it doesn't mean it's worth doing, just because something is easy does not mean that you won't extrapolate difficulty to it from it, I should say. So the easier it is to do stuff like this, the easier it is to be like, let's make a huge game, right? So if this was significantly more difficult, we wouldn't make a huge game. But we're making a huge game because, either because we're nuts, we're just freaking insane, or we believe that we can do it, right? So that's those are the big differences. We do believe that we can do it, so that's why we're doing it. Let's see here. Are these really the walls? Alright, so these are all partitions, so I need to put... Alright, I'm gonna... Today I'm going to draw up the plans of how these are actually going to look, because these are super ugly right now. These are just boxes right now. I mean, these are essentially just white boxes, so I want to make something really specific to each of these. Let me... So I want to, yeah, I want to make something that's really specific to each of these. Okay. Um, anyway, that's that. Let's put up, let's do, where's the shell? The shell is in the entire room. We're going to do partitions, and we're just going to grab all of these and put them in the partitions. Okay, cool. I just want to put those there. Uh, these pillars, pillar three, um, and these need to be doubled up, right? Meaning, here I'll show you. So that is not correct. So what we'll do is we will flip it like this. And do that. Do exactly that. So that's that, right, and then we're going to have another one. Oh wait, let's, no, we'll leave it like that, I think.
Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So we are getting a bit closer to what we want. That's pretty good. All right. So we're doubling over, doubling up. What we'll eventually do as well is kind of smash these a little bit when we get a ceiling in place. That way, that the, these, this bulbous part here is kind of like indented into the ceiling, so it looks like it's constructed. It's holding something up. Um, okay, so walls, south wall, colliders. East wall. Boop, boop, boop. Same dealio. Strap blocks collider. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Okay, then we're gonna bring it over here. We are going to go, okay. Its size is gonna be 20, 20. That's too much, 22, 23, 23. Okay. And then the X is going to be 40. There you have it. One, two, and then we just need three. Okay. All the colliders. Oh, that's because this one is overlapping. Um, Do want it as precise as we could possibly make it. Just stick with this crap. Okay, got it. All right, very nice. That's the east wall, and then what we'll do? I think we could just do this. Nope, they're identical. We'll do west wall, and then. to go. Um, okay, so I think I'll probably grab do the north wall and then swing that, but then take the central one out so collider three can come out, I believe. So we have all those, all those are blocked, so none of these are, wait, no, these are, are they? yep, got box gliders on, very nice. Right, and then part of the cleanup will be taking these box gliders out. So for instance, we have this wall here, we have, there's this wall, I'm sorry, this wall here, then there's this wall here, these are all, these are, these are two different walls. 
So if I move it like that, you see that wall, and then this wall here, right? Each of these has a separate box collider on it. That just made it easier. Made it easier to copy paste, can move everything around. What we'll likely do is select all these multiple walls, because we have two over here as well. Again, each of those box colliders is just a tiny bit of data that the computer is holding on to. So there's separate box colliders, box collider, box collider, box collider, box collider. And then you pile those up, and if you have a thousand box colliders in a scene, then that starts you know, chugging the system. That increases the overhead just a bit. So what we'll likely do is take the, like this box collider and this box collider, right? We'll take these out of each of these pieces and just replace it with one. Same with this guy. Same with these two. Take these two box colliders out, replace it with one. Same with all these floor tiles. All these floor tiles have a box collider on them as well. Each, each single one. So we'll take all of these out. We'll basically just multi-select like this. Go, go here and we'll remove component and then all of all, they're all magically gone so all of these no longer have box colliders on them then we'll go to the central one put a box collider on that and just increase the size of it right so you're basically taking out I don't even know 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 box colliders uh, and replacing them with one and you're doing that throughout the entire level right? So that'll be part of the polish phase. We'll go through there, we'll do all of that. We'll add in all the little pieces. Um, speaking of little pieces, let me see. I would like to get in. Right, so we're getting in, slowly getting in a little bit of polish that I really dig. I'm really enjoying. And like there's other things we could do too. We could put like metal rims around here, like golden rims. Um, oh yeah, I do want to do. Yeah, we could put in the doorways here, things that you can't even really touch until you have spells later. You know, like because this can move. This can totally move, right? So you can have an entire a hallway here leading to. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you could do. There's all kinds of stuff we could do with this, uh, and that we are going to do with it. God, I'm so excited for that. Um, but with that said, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done just for even the base stuff that we're doing. Uh, let me see here. Pillar. Pullers. Set that up. Make sure it's kind of clean. Okay, so that works. All of that crap works. It's pretty great. I need to think on how we're going to actually do this. I'm, I'm kind of looking at this and memorizing it so I can think of how we're going to make this work. I would like to maybe put... Yeah, maybe I'll make... Maybe I'll make some interesting, just like, little cube pieces. Not cube pieces rectangular pieces, because if I create a 3D object, make it a cube, right? Well, where the hell are you? Right, and so if I do this, and if I put this here, Right, so I would make probably make one of these custom in Blender. Here we go. So I'll do 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0.5. Okay, that's basically what I want there. But then I'll stretch it like this. And then I'll put the golden material on it. See, it's like it's stretched though. I don't want it. I don't want it to be stretched like that. I want it to be a nice solid gold, like you know, like this medallion is. But anyway, do something like that. Um, where, where, am I, where am I? And then kind of replicate it so it's basically a frame. And then do the same thing throughout the entire piece. So that's basically what we're looking at there. 
right? But I would make I'd make something like this custom in Blender. So you have this like gold frame. You're like, what is that? And it's like, oh, you know, or silver, whatever. You know, silver frame. It's like gold. It's like green. I mean, but the um, see the problem there though is that the UVs are stretched because Unity doesn't multiply. It doesn't like adjust the UVs by your scale. So that's a problem. And that's gonna be a problem. So we'll do something like that, you know, just to kind of spice it up. I'm gonna put dirt and dust. Um, oh, that was another thing I wanted to do. Damn, I didn't. I don't. I certainly don't have enough time for that right here. All right. Well, I'm gonna get going. Uh, we still have tomorrow. There's a couple of things I want to do. So we just, you know, we did a little bit of polishing today. Um, 